Peter, Microsoft getting into bed with Nook. Are they going to have that much fun? Yes, no. What do you think? Uh, Barnes and Noble's shareholders are having a lot of fun. Their, their stock is worth about 60% more than it was uh, at the end of the day Friday, so that's good. Yeah, we're going to have a look at the chart in a moment. Um, now, you said that this this is a sort of a magic that came out of this deal um, where where Barnes & Noble just really created something. Amazing stuff. Yeah, I mean, Barnes & Noble created the, the Nook a couple years ago, and no one really had high hopes for it at all. And they built it into a real business, generating significant revenue. And, and at least right now, they've temporarily been able to create value for it, too. What they've gone and done is said, all right, Microsoft's going to give us $300 million bucks for in, to invest in, in this business, we'll create a separate business, keep part of Barnes & Noble, we're going to magically decide that that thing is now worth $1.7 billion, which was about $600 million more than all of Barnes & Noble's worth uh, this morning. Uh, and then maybe we'll spin it off or do something with it one day, but it's just sort of the, the stroke of a pen that instantly created all the shareholder value. It's very exciting. Uh, couldn't agree with you more, Peter. So, looks like a great deal for Barnes and Noble and its shareholders. You know, when we've been looking at the Nook story, one of the you know you got to give the Barnes and Noble credit for launching this business. On the other hand, it was a struggling a little bit and, and hurting the parent company because they really didn't have the cash flow to really finance a high tech startup investment. Now they've got a big cash infusion. What do you think Microsoft? Uh, can do with with this with this platform. How can they help maybe accelerate or improve the uh, the chances of the Nook sort of uh, in, in the tablet space? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I disagree a little bit with the premise that this sort of that Barnes and Noble was cash strapped. I mean, uh, the, if they wanted to go get money to fund the uh, the Nook, they they could have. Their, their their real problem is that the the Nook is intimately tied, and this is still the same problem is tied to their their bricks and mortar business. And trying to figure out how to separate those is, is going to be naughty for them. Uh, but look, Microsoft is putting in $300 million. Microsoft could end up putting in a whole lot more if they want. It doesn't mean anything to them. They lose this kind of money every quarter running their internet business. Uh, actually, much more than that. Uh, but in theory, they'll, you know, this is gonna, they're going to push this along with Windows 8. So everyone who gets a Windows 8 operating system will eventually be exposed to Nook. So that's good marketing. Uh, they played up the idea that this is going to be uh, help uh, Nook move internationally. Uh, so that's not a bad thing. It's, it's not a bad thing to be aligned with Microsoft. Uh, the real trick for, for Barnes & Noble will be if they can sort of unlock Nook from the Barnes & Noble physical uh, retailing operation and sort of create a standalone company. That's, that's going to be the real key to their success. Uh, Peter, Microsoft has done very well doing business-to-business -business selling of stuff like, you know, Windows operating systems to big corporations. It hasn't done so well doing business-to-consumer. Why do you think it will succeed at this time? Well, they're they're not doing it. Uh, they're, Barnes and Noble is going to continue to run that business. Uh, uh, Microsoft's a minority partner, and that's smart of them. They're supplying some cash and some marketing muscle, and and if they're smart, they'll they'll stay out of the actual running of the bookstore themselves. What about the valuation? It was, I mean, you know, from the outside, it looked like a pretty rich valuation. What is there? What how do you know? Is that sort of uh, a fair valuation in your point, or what do you think about that? I, I, it's interesting. I, I haven't done the numbers and compared how this this compares to the theoretical Nook revenue, et cetera. It's interesting if you look. Uh, last time I looked at, at uh, Barnes and Noble's market share, uh, sorry, market cap this morning, investors like the idea, but they don't quite buy the valuation themselves either because the, the company was still below that one point seven billion dollars uh, that the, theoretically the Nook business is worth, according to the press release this morning. I think it was like one point three or one point four billion last time I checked. So investors aren't quite sure that this is a realistic valuation either.